Always wear SPF, guys. Always wear SPF. A little too close to the camera there. <laughs> We're moving! This is the carrier that I have prepared. Well, I haven't prepared it yet, but this is the carrier that I have for um, the three of them, and then I have a smaller one for honey. I bought this at a uh, flea market, and I cleaned it very intensely in the bathtub, and then um, it's broken, so I use zip ties to hold it together. We're very DIY here. Are you memorializing the moment? No. No. This is Jill, guys. This is my car, Jill. She's gonna be uh, a trooper today. Um, I've already loaded up the entire back of the car with um, random stuff that I own. So we're gonna make the first trip with all this stuff. But first, we're going to get caribou. In there, we're gonna block the light. Why is your hand? You can't see it, it's fine. <laughs> We've got caribou. They put my sticker on the top of my cup. And the lady from the apartment said that they're still cleaning. So we have to wait until they're done cleaning. All right, so before we move anything over there, um, I'm going to go ahead and give the guinea pigs some CBD that I bought for them. So I watched a lot of videos um, from Saskia from the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and I saw her mention uh, CBD as like a stress reducer for guinea pigs and also for older guinea pigs to help with like arthritis and stuff. Like she just rubs it on the back of their ears. So I thought that would be nice for the move for them, um, especially since Honey is gonna be by herself for the move. She's not bonded with anyone. I thought it would be really like helpful for her stress levels if I gave her some CBD. So I purchased the CBD directly from the LA Guinea Pig Rescue website. So I bought exactly what Saskia recommends. And it's just in a little box here. And it was on sale because um, it expires like literally like in a month from now, like so the end of September it expires, but I'm not too worried. Um, I'm probably just gonna use it for the move. And then maybe if I think, you know, honey seems like more lively with it, maybe it helps, maybe if she has joint issues and it helps her, I'll use it until it expires. Um, but I'm not really that concerned about it because I didn't buy it for long-term use. I just bought it mainly for the move. So if I can figure out how to open this little box, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to all four of them, even though they're probably not going to get moved into the new place. Probably within the next hour, two hours, they're probably going to get moved. I'm not 100% sure, but I did want to go ahead and get it to them. So it gives them some time to like relax and to calm down and everything. So that is the details. That is what it says on there. And on the back, it says it is lab tested, vet recommended, and it is topical skin relief. And it is for animal use only. So this is specifically hemp, CBD, extract, whatever, um, for animals and it just comes in this little thing right here. I'm very like intrigued by this. So it's basically just like a little balm. I'm just gonna take some and rub it on the back of their ears and I'm gonna probably do honey first and then the rest of them. All right, so I have honey right here and they all hate being held. So she's not too pleased about it, it's okay. And I'm just gonna rub my finger on it and then rub it on the back of her ears. Come here. I'm not exactly sure how much to do. I'm gonna do it on both ears because that's what I saw Saskia do in her video. I see your ear, baby. It's okay. <laughs> she is not a fan. See? How do you feel? How do you feel? I don't know how long it takes to kick in, but she did quiet down. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it with the rest of them. I probably won't show it all because um, they're just gonna be just as squirmy and I'm unhappy about it as she is, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of them. So in the main carrier for the three girls, I took this like um, bath mat that was actually in their cage all night long. So it smells very much so like them. And then I'm going to put hay from their cage in here as well. And that way it is a very dark, 
and like comforting space that also will still smell like them and like seems familiar. And then we have Honey's Carrier, which is smaller and it's still fully set up from when I took her to the vet and she didn't have any problem when she went to the vet with the carrier. She was completely calm and relaxed and like eating hay and not freaking out. So I didn't go through the trouble of like putting stuff that smells like her in it because she didn't have any issues with the carrier last time. But for the other three girls, I did go the extra mile because I figured that would help keep them calm. So um, I just pulled Honey's cage out from underneath the table and I'm literally just gonna take this entire thing and just stick it in my car and hope it fits. And then Honey's in her carrier. What? It's gonna fit easily. What are you talking about? Okay, he thinks it's gonna fit easily. I'm hoping it fits because I usually overestimate the size of things and I think I think my car is bigger in my head. No, it's way bigger than this. What do you, what do you want about? All right, all right. We're gonna see if it fits. It fits. Um, just put, literally put the whole cage in there and Honey's in the front seat and I don't know what I'm doing about the other cage. Um, You're gonna have to break it down. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to take the loft off. I mean, theoretically, maybe the loft could fit if it was back in there. Fit sideways, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, Honey's cage fits. Honey, look, it's your cage. It's funny. She's like, oh, it's not. All right, babe. Come here. Okay, babe. See? Already hay on the floor. The first hay has been spilled on the carpet. Wouldn't be an apartment without hay all over the carpet. So I have taken everything out of the cage and the girls are currently in their carrier, which is in the bathroom away from the cat. And then I wrapped their hay tray in a plastic bag. This is everything that was in their cage. I'm gonna put it in one big bag. And then over here was everything that was on top of their cage. And then this <laughs> is the mess that is left over after I moved their cage out of the way. And then this is sort of what I've done. <laughs> so basically I just took the grids that were up top over here off and then I just folded it all up and then this is kind of the same size as what Honey's cage was except it has a loft so I'm hoping that it will just fit in my car just um like this so um the cage did fit in my car but we had to turn it completely on its side to keep the loft attached so there's no poop um all over my car and all the bedding fell and the fleece fell but um we made it fit and then here's them in the carrier and it's probably just gonna go right in here all right so this is how the cages look in here at the moment um it was kind of a hassle to get their cage in here and it's kind of honestly completely a mess and i haven't brought in the stuff for their cage like their litter box or anything yet so i just set the carrier in the cage and they can like come out and go as they please. And I happen to have a one hide already moved here, but I'm gonna go back and get the rest of the stuff for their cage. And this way they get to live for now, right next to Honey, and they can kind of see each other through these bars, which I'm super, super excited for. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like for now. And I'm gonna go back and move the rest of their stuff. All right, so this is sort of what I am working with with the space for now. And Honey is currently out just roaming around. Um, I think it's really great because she can like go up over here at her own pace to sort of see and interact with the other guinea pigs because I am having them, my plan is for them to live together right next to each other in the future. So there'll only be like one grid separating them, kind of like what was happening right there. So right now they can see each other through this portion of her cage, but there's still like a gap between the grids in the future there's not going to be. So I just wanna make sure that she feels comfortable enough to approach them. And she seems very happy with that. She's been doing a lot more popcorns lately and I'm really glad that she's able to live next to them. And I'm really excited for when I can build one big cage with a divider down the middle. So I'm gonna try to give you guys an overlook at what the room looks like for now. Honey's cage is on the far left. And then we have the other main cage. And then just over here, 
a bunch of like miscellaneous guinea pig stuff. And then I also have a closet, which is full of more guinea pig stuff, as well as some of my clothes, because I'm also gonna be having to keep my clothes in this closet. So it's gonna get pretty full. And then I also need to buy a desk for this room, which I have not had a chance to do yet. But yeah, here is an overall look at the room. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of you guys for supporting me on my channel and on my videos and everything. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of exciting things planned in the future. So please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be alerted when I post all of those new fun and exciting videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.